The small girl. Sarah Small was the smallest girl in second grade. She could not reach the water fountain. She felt very sad. Wait and see," said mother. "It's good to be small." One day, Sarah and her friends were playing soccer. Sarah was good at soccer. She was so small that she could run through tall people's legs. She had just kicked the ball when she saw something green and white. There was a five-dollar bill on the other side of the fence, beside the small hole. Sarah's friends were too big to fit through the hole to reach it, but Sarah got down on her hands and knees and slipped through. She picked up the bill from off the ground. Then she told her friends she would buy them all ice cream. Sometimes it's good to be small," she said. Story questions: One, why is Sarah sad? Because she is small. Two, why is Sarah good at soccer? Because she can through run through legs. Three, what does Sarah fo- find on the ground? She fo- <coughs> she find a five dollar bill. Four, what does Sarah with the money? She buys ice cream for herself. Mark, Mark was seven years old. He talked slowly. He could not read yet, but he was a fast runner. Mark did not have friends at school. The other kids stayed away from he, because he looked different. She had his head was big. His arms and legs were short. People were afraid. People were afraid. One day it was time to run relay races. No one picked Mark to be on his or her team. Run on Scott's team," the teacher said. Scott made an angry face. Mark ru- ran last. Scott's team was behind, but Mark ran, ran and ran, ran. She ran so fast that he caught up to the front runner. Thanks to Mark, Scott's team won the relay. Hooray! All the kids cried. They picked Mark up in the air and cheered for him. Now they weren't scared. They all wanted Mark to run on their team. Story questions: One, why are kids afraid of Mark? Because he looks different. Two, Mark is really good at running. Three, why is Scott happy? Because Mark wins the relay. Four, the message in this story is everyone has a talent. Tamils. Rondo's mother made tamils at Christmas. They were made with chicken or beef. Tamils remind me of Christmas, Mondo said. His friends laughed. Tamils aren't Christmas food, they said. We eat gingerbread man and candy canes. Mondo felt sad. He went to his mother. Why don't we bake gingerbread man for Christmas? She said. She smiled. Our Tamils are special, she said. My mother made them for me when I was a child. Her mother made them for her. Ask your friends over to try them. Mondo asked his friends to come over. They began to eat the Tamils. Then something amazing happened. They ate and they ate. They even asked for more. We wish our mothers would make Tamils for Christmas. They said to Mondo. He just smiled and ate another Tamil. Star questions. One. What remains Mondo of Christmas? Is Tamils two? Mondo's friends think Christmas food is gingerbread. Three. What happens when Mondo's friends try to the t- try the Tamils? They ask for more. Four. Why does Mondo's mother make Tamils for Christmas? Because her mother made them for her. The dog. Molly wanted a dog more than anything. Every night she asked Mom, "Please, may we get a dog?" Every morning she says to Dad, "A dog would be a good thing to have." Dogs are work," said Mom. "You have to walk them every day. You have to feed them and brush them," said Dad. "They need fresh water too." "I'll take good care of a dog," Molly said. "I will walk him and feed him." I will brush him and make sure he always have clean water. Her parents said nothing. Molly felt sad. I will never get a dog, she said. 
On her seventh birthday, a box sat on the floor. For Molly, said the tag. The box wiggled. Then it barked. My dog! cried Molly. Story questions: One. Every day, dog needs a walk. Two. In this story, fresh means clean. Three. Where does Molly find the puppy? In a box. Four. Why do Molly's parents get her a dog? Because she will take care of it. The firefighter. Julie wanted to be a firefighter when she grew up. I will put out fires, she told her friends at lunch. I will save people. I will even drive a fire truck. The boys in her class laughed. Only men can be firefighters, they said. Women are not strong. They cannot lift a heavy hose or carry people to safety. Women are too short to drive a fire truck. Women can be firefighters, Julie said. You'll see. The next day was show and tell. Julie went first. I would like you to meet someone, she told her class. Just then, a tall, strong woman walked in. She wore yellow firefighter's clothes and a tall yellow hat. She carried a heavy hose. Julie smiled. This is my sister Jean. She is a firefighter. Story questions: One, <laughs> Julie's sister is a firefighter. Two, firefighters must be strong. Three, why do the boys laugh at Julie? Because they think only men can be firefighters. Four, what does Julie show the class? Both men and women can be firefighters. Bye bye.